All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hercha HaKodash, Level Lam Yom. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach them well in these last days and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the Akim on the four corners of the earth, putting the word in truth and sincerity, making the call and the election sure. And I'm going to give a humble salutation to the whole for the elect tuning in on the four corners of the earth, wherever your habitation may be at. All right, this is Brother Mashal. Come back at you with a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. I'm going to say to Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yashai, forgive me the spirit and having the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, uh, just uh, a lesson just hit me real quick. It's like one in the morning, but um, before I go to sleep, I wanted to touch on this topic because one of the brothers put, uh, went into this, uh, you know, uh, passage at camp. And I kind of wanted to expound on it, you know what I'm saying, just through the, uh, you know, through the spirit. And uh, he pulled out um, uh, Nahum 3, right? Uh, so, you know, let's go to it because I don't know why it's always cutting um, cutting, cutting the second verse off for some reason. Uh, so we're going to uh, go to Nahum 3 and, uh, you know, I'm going to title this lesson, The Well-Favored Harlot, all right? Now, we know Esau um, is the... Is the uh, conspirator of all these uh different uh things that makes us go off but what what Esau does is he makes it uh pleasurable man you know what I'm saying it makes it makes it makes you you know your flesh feel good you know what I'm saying it makes you you know what I'm saying he gives you the, the freedom to to uh do do what thou wilt you know what I'm saying even even the, the nations uh you know from other from I mean the people from other other nations come to you know what I'm saying America to to uh to be an American and to 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 come to the land of the free, you know what I'm saying and stuff like that. But this is why America is the well favored harlot, man, because this is this is a a, a desirable a, a desirable spot, you know. So you can like I say, you can do what you want to do. You can uh, worship what you want to worship. If you want to worship white rocks or or Satan, or you want to uh, worship uh, astrology, or you know what I'm saying anything. Man, you want to be a a, a transformer. You know what I'm saying? A member of the alphabet community. Hey, you can do it, man, without no re uh, repercussions. Okay, so this is why Babylon the Great, America, is the well-favored harlot. All right, so we're going to go to uh, Nahum uh, chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, uh, Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robberies. The prey departeth not. Okay, so this is the, this is the bloody city. Okay, it's all full of lies and robberies, man. This, 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 uh... This kingdom, this this uh, establishment was 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 built upon uh, rape, rob, murder, you know, uh, backstabbing. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say um, in Psalms that uh, uh, in Psalms 55, you know, matter of fact, let me uh, let me get that real quick. Psalms 55 and 21. Psalms 55 and 21, it says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Okay, so this is what happened uh, with the Gadites. Okay, you know what I'm saying? The, Gad the Gadites, uh, the Reubenites, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 the Simeonites, okay? Though, uh, they, you know, Esau came over peaceable. You know, and uh, you know, saying had shaking, shaking uh, the uh, so-called Native Americans' hands, and with one hand, but in the, in the back they got a knife, man, and other in uh, in the other hand behind their back, okay? Because this 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 uh, America was founded off off of lies, man, a robbery, okay? To pray the part of not, and we we are that prey, okay? We've been preyed upon uh, since uh, Cristobal Col uh, Cologne came over, which which the world calls Christopher Columbus. Okay? So the, we are to pray, man. All right? And we haven't departed. When you read Jeremiah, uh, I think it's 50 and 33. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Jeremiah 50 and 33. It says, Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yashai of armies of hosts, the children of Israel and the church, children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, and uh, they refused to let them go. See, so we are that prey, and that's why in Jeremiah six, uh, 
uh, 30 and 16, it says that uh, that all that prey upon thee will be for a prey. See, so we're uh, we're we're a prey. OK, so this is why it says that the prey depart of not because we're still in the land of our captivity. All right. When you read Baruch three and verse eight, it says that we are yet this day in our captivity. OK, because the prey part of depart of not, man, we're still here. All right. The noise of a whip. And the noise of the rattling of the wheels and the prancing horses and the jumping and of the jumping chariots. And that just goes into, uh, you know, the, the might of the uh, of the of, of, of our oppressor. OK, the noise of a whip, the noise of the rattling of the wheels. You know, when we were transported, um, you know, uh, after we got sold off those aux auction blocks, you know, what I'm saying sometimes. Uh, if it was a, a far away, you know, what I'm saying if you were sold in, 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 in uh, you know, in Virginia, you had to go all the way to Texas. You, you may have had to walk there, you know, or you, you had like a, a you know, a horse and a carriage. All right. Not like one of the fancy ones that the Edomites was wearing, but you was, th uh, you know, thrown in the back of a, of a uh, you know, something like a, a a trailer with wheels. Right. And that's the uh, those are, the, you know, those are considered chariots, man. All right. It says the horseman lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. There is a mo uh, there is a multitude of slain and, the, and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon the corpses. See, we're, we're still stumbling over dead bodies, man. Okay, when you read uh, Revelation um, um, eleven, it talks about our dead bodies being uh, in a dead estate, man. OK, when uh, when this this uh, country was was being established, you know, it was it was being established by off the blood, sweat and tears of of uh, of, of Jacob, man. OK, not only not, not only Judah, which was ben, uh, Judah, Benjamin and Levi being brought over here on slave ships, but Gad also, man, you know, Gad, uh, you know, uh, Simeon, you know, all the, uh, the uh, you know, uh, so-called Native American tribes. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're forced to work uh, in slavery also, man. And then when you go down to the other northern kingdom uh, um, uh, lands, you know, in the islands, you know, that's where the uh, the conquistadors, uh, you know, went and, and uh, established their uh, uh, their place. You know what I'm saying? Their, uh, um, you know, their establishment. OK, so you had the, the, the uh, so-called white Edomites. Uh, in, in North America, and then you had the Spanish Edomites in the islands. Okay, and you had the French Edomites taking over. That's why the, the island of uh, Haiti, they, 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 they uh, you know, saying pretty fluent in, uh, in French. Okay, and then, and then you know, uh, you have, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the Ephraimites, the so, uh, the so called Puerto Ricans, you know, what I'm saying speaking Spanish, being conquered by the Spanish conquistador. Conquistadors, all right. So you have different different people that's uh or different tribes that's been conquered by separate uh groups of Edomites. Okay, okay. And it says, and there is none end of their corpses; they stumble upon their corpses. All right. And this is uh, our our people being in a dead estate, and we're still stumbling over people in a dead estate right now, man. And they're and they're and they're living, walking, breathing. You know what I'm saying? They may walk by the camp. You know what I'm saying? Smoking bud or, or scoffing. You know what I'm saying? But hey, th those are dead bodies, man. Okay? Because they don't have that breath of life in them. All right? And this is the point of the, of the lesson. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. You see? So Esau Edom is the well-favored harlot, man. OK, this whole from verse one, uh, verse one to verse four is it speaks of Esau, Edom to the T, man. OK, and this is the well-favored harlot, man. All right. Now, when we look up uh, well-favored, I want to look up uh, that word well, well-favored. Strong's H, 2896. Tove. Tove. All right. It, it says uh, good, pleasant, agreeable. OK, so when you when, it, when you're well favored, it's good, pleasant, agreeable. OK, uh, let's say pleasant, agreeable to the senses. Uh, let's see. 
yeah. Uh, let's go down to the second down here. Welfare, prosperity, happiness. All right. Okay, so but the the point is 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 avert uh the first one the first one good, pleasant, agreeable. Okay, now what happened? Now what 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 also was a uh, pleasant, right? So we know that that well favored the, uh, Esau Edom and his establishment is the well favored harlot. All right, now when we go to uh Genesis, right? Let's go to Genesis three. What was Eve deceived by? All right. Genesis 3 and verse 6, it says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was what? It was pleasant to the eyes. It was well favored to the eyes. OK, this is why she was easily seduced by by uh, Hashatan, man, because it was it was it was pleasant to her, man. OK, it was favored. It was favored by all the nations. OK, this, this these philosophies, man. All right, and it says, in the tree to, to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Okay, so see, this is the point where the when, when you look up the word well favor, it tra uh, one of the definitions is pleasant. You see, so see how Esau Edom is, is the spirit of Esau is tied back to the to the deceiver in the garden, man. The snake, the serpent. Okay, and that serpent. Turn into a dragon. Let's go uh, uh, to Revelation uh, 17. And let's start at verse 2. It says, With whom the kings have com of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of a fornication. You see? So these these nations have been uh, also been seduced, man, by the well favored harlot. Okay, this is why you know the brothers always bring it out, man. You know that when you go to the when when you see these United Nations meetings, nobody's in their original, you know, uh, uh, garments. You know, what I'm saying the, the the customs that that throughout the centuries, you know, what I'm saying that that they've established. You know, what I'm saying when you go to these United Nations meetings, they're all in suits, man. They've all forsaken the customs of their own country. To uh to to abide by the well favored harlot man, okay to look like a, a Edomite man in the suit and tie man. You got Elam in the suit and tie. Okay, you got uh Moab, you know the Chinese in the in the suit and tie. All right, these 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 uh the United Nations meetings have all these these different nations with all these uh you know customs and uh. You know, and things like that, but they all when they get when they get together under Esau Edom, they all dress like Esau, man. Okay? Because the the inhabitants of the earth have been making made drunk with the wine of her fortification. Okay. It says, so he, he uh verse three, Revelation seventeen and three, so he carried me away in the spirit unto the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Okay? And that woman represents uh, the East, the Edomites, okay. And that beast, that beast is the beast system, the uh, the, the, the 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 totality of the beast system, okay. And specifically, that that woman is is uh, America, okay. Because America uh, is is the uh, I guess you say the head honcho of the beast system. All right, because this is the, this is that deadly wound that was healed in Revelation thirteen. Okay, so the woman is is America sitting on a scarlet colored beast, and that scarlet, the, when you look at the word scarlet, it, it just means red. Okay, this is the red beast. Okay, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, and the seven heads and the ten horns represents the the uh, the uh, the NATO, which is uh, the military portion of the beast, and the European Union. Uh, which is the financial part of the beast. All right. It says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Okay. And that purple rep represents uh, royalty, man. All right. This is why they put a purple robe on Yahweh Shai when, they, when he was le being led to uh, be crucified because they was mocking him, you know what I'm saying, calling him the king of the Jews because purple is a, is a royal color. All right. When you go to, uh, uh, you know, numbers, 
uh, 15 and verse 38, it says it, it, it says that you're supposed to have a ribbon of blue. But when you break down that word uh, blue, it actually goes into violet because that's a that's a symbol and a, a color of uh, a reputation of royalty. All right. So it says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. It says, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, a uh, slack in mystery, Babylon the Great, the, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You see, so Babylon the Great would be, uh, is the mother of all harlots, man. The well favored harlot. Okay, because now you have the, uh, the, 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 the legislation that passes uh, or, or uh, loosens the, um, the ways, I guess you could say, of, uh, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. All right, now you can walk around and be a part of the alphabet community, man, without no repercussion, man. All right, now you cannot, uh, now you can uh, keep planting on, on, on the same plot of land without, get, without allowing the, the land to rest. Okay, now you can have nuclear facilities, you know, uh, putting pollution and stuff in the air. All right, cars everywhere and, 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 and vehicles and airplanes and all type of stuff, man. This is the mother of all harlots, man, the, the mother of all abominations. All right. It says, and I saw the woman, verse six, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. All right. And this is this is America now because America is going is going is uh, is going to be putting up the the. The uh the men of Yahweh Bashim man, uh on the chop on the chopping block, man. Okay. The scriptures talk about in Revelation that um that uh the, those that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Okay, those are the people that's going to be martyrs, man. All right, you get put to death uh, with a firing squad. You, you know what I'm saying? You standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yashai until your time is up, man. Those are the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, going back to verse six, it says, and when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. You see, and even John the Revelator was 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 uh, admi uh, was uh, astonished at the beauty of this woman, man. OK, the uh, the philosophies and the doctrines of this uh, of this beast, man, the woman that was sitting on top of the beast. All right. So see how easily it is to be seduced by by uh, by wickedness, man. And this is what's happening to our people. And this is why you have, you're going to have men that's going to cave in that day, man. Okay? Because they're, they're going to be seduced by the ways of this world, man. By the ways of, the, of this cave beast. Okay? And it's, everything's all good right now, man. They out here on the, on the highways and hedges, you know, preaching and everything like that. But when it comes down to it, you know, they're going to fold in that day, man. Okay? Because they're going to be wondering with great admiration, man. They're going to be wondering, how am I going to feed my family, man, without without knowing the precepts? You know, they're going to be tired or not. They, they, they haven't done the works of fasting when we have the liberty to, to get our bodies right. And now when you go a day and a half without food, now you're bugging out, man. Okay? Now you're turning back to Esau and getting, and, and getting the MOB, man. Okay, this is the mother of all harlots, man. You know what? Let's go to... Uh, um, Habakkuk. Let's go to Habakkuk chapter two, and we're gonna to go to verse uh fifteen. It says uh Habakkuk two and verse fifteen. It says, "Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor uh drink, that puttest thy bottles to him, that makest him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness." All right, and this is what Esau has done, man. He has given the the wine of his philosophies to these other nations, man. All right, and now these other nations are, are naked, man. This is why they laying in bed with Esau, man. All right, now that they they have no choice but to ride or die with Esau, man. All right, and then now you that's why you're gonna have some alliances. You can, you're gonna have mostly alliances uh, w with certain countries, you know, and that's what's gonna happen in, in World War Three. That's gonna call. That's what's gonna cause World War Three. Okay, even when you go back to. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to Revelation. Let's go back to Revelation 18 and verse 3. It says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, 
and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Okay, so see, this, America is one big consuming plot, man. So all these nations sell to America, and uh, this is why America is the well is is also a well well favored harlot. Okay, this is why you see mostly uh, a lot of stuff you know is labeled made in China, made in Taiwan, you know, made in Japan. All right, why you see all these you know uh, foreign cars in America. But you don't go. You don't go to China and see a, a you know a, a Ford F one fifty. You don't see a a, a, a Chevy Silver a Silverado, okay? Because they because China makes and produce and, and and buys their own products. America is the well favored harlot, man. Because these nations wax rich off of, off of us because we are the biggest consuming country in 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 in, in the world. All right, so this is how the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, man. Okay, you know we we always you know America always want to say buy uh buy American, but most of these companies, you know what I'm saying, take their products over to overseas. You know what I'm saying, where instead of paying somebody instead of paying a so-called American, you know, saying ten dollars an hour, they'll they'll, they'll Take their company overseas and pay somebody 30, 30 cents an hour to make the same product. OK, this is why, you know, what I'm saying America is a is a is a, a, a hypocritical nation, man. You know, they say they say uh, buy American, but most of these companies, you know, what I'm saying make their products in, 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 in another in another country. OK. So we're gonna wrap this up real quick. Um, uh, uh let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah fifty one, and let's verse, let's go to verse six. It says, "Flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul." Now, does that literally mean, you know, what I'm saying, pack your bags up and go and, and move to Israel? No. Does that mean pack your bags up and move to uh, uh, Great Britain? No. It means spiritually, man. All right, flee out of the midst of Babylon, okay? Because when you read uh, Micah two and ten, it says that arise and depart, for this is not your rest. You know what I'm saying? It'll it'll uh, destroy you with a sword of destruction. Okay, so we're supposed to flee out of Babylon mentally, man. Spiritually, build your spirit up through your, through the power of your Habashim Yashai, man. All right. The scripture saying in Revelation 18 uh, to, uh, 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 you know, that uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, flee because you don't want to be partakers of her sins. OK, because the plague, her plagues have reached up uh, to heaven. Uh, her sins have reached up unto heaven. man. OK, in Revelation 18 and verse uh, around verse four, somewhere around there. All right. So Jeremiah 51 and 6 says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of Yahweh Bashimashai's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Okay, so this this is this is the, all America is going to be destroyed uh, from the the vengeance of Yahweh Bashimashai, man. Okay, Yahweh uh is coming back to uh, to avenge his death on those that pierce him, man. And these people are back today, man. This whole Roman Empire is back today, man. The deadly wound. That was that was taken away. That was the Roman Empire is is that has been healed is now. OK, all the, the image of the beast is just the, 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 the ways of the Roman Empire, man. OK, the 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 uh, the, the building structure, you got you have the building structures you have when you read the Maccabees, it talks about, you know, the Senate houses, man. OK, and now we nowadays we have the Senate, we have the House of Representatives. We have, uh, you know, voting for, uh, you know, presidents, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. This is all the Roman Empire all over again, man. Okay, and back then, the Roman Empire was the strongest uh, empire that, that, that the world has ever seen. Okay, and it's back again, man. Okay, because Yahweh Bashi Meshach had blessed him with the power of the sword, man, uh, through Isaac. Okay? 
It says, verse 7, Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh Bashi Mashiach's hand that had made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. Okay, so now it's getting to a point where the nations are coming and, and uh, being upset. Okay, because now, you know, Esau can't uh, overpower them with the, with, the, with the power of the sword. Okay, now everybody, everybody has nuclear weapons now, man. Ain't nobody afraid of Babylon the Great no more, man. All right, now this is why Esau is walking on eggshells. Because Esau knows the prophecies. All right, he knows that, that he's, he's going he's gonna to fall, man. You know what I'm saying? Now these countries is calling, you know, you know it's on the news. You got Russia calling out, uh, calling out uh, uh, Esau in America. You know, you have uh, North Korea. You know what I'm saying? China. I mean, all, all type of places, man, is calling out America, man. Because the nations are mad now. Because, not be, because before, uh, in, in uh, Isaiah 14, it talks about uh, that the... Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to go to it after this. Uh, it says, uh, verse 7, Jeremiah 51 and verse 7, it says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that had made all the earth drunken the nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad, all right? So the nations are pissed off, man, because why? Now they can defend themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? Now it's not, uh, um, you know, uh, the scriptures say in, in Revelation that, uh, that, that Esau had made fire come from, from heaven, okay? Now that fire was those, that, uh, was those bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Okay, those nuclear missiles, and that was like the the first nuclear bombing in the, in on, on the planet. Okay, but now everybody has those capabilities, man. Now now that's why now the the, the nations can defend themselves, and now they're pissed off at, at Esau Edom, man. All right, so let's go to Revelation fourteen, and. Let's start at verse uh, four. Okay. It says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased the golden city cease? See, I'm, you know what? I want to see what that, uh, phrase golden city is, what it, what it, what it says. Strong's H 4062. Madheva. Madheva. Okay, Golden City says boisterous, raging, behavior, boisterous. All right. Uh, Golden City, exactness of gold. Okay. So see that we, we see when you're when you're prideful, man, you become boisterous. You know, let's uh let's look at that word boisterous. Uh lively, uh blustery. Um, let's see, uh, noisy, energetic, cheerful, cheerful, rowdy. Okay. So that's, this is what happens when you're, it's like, it's like, just like the big, the, uh, the big bully on the block, man. You know what I'm saying? He's the biggest, strongest dude in, in, in the school. He's picking on everybody, man. Why? And that's, that's, and he's loud. You know what I'm saying? He's prideful, you know, noisy, energetic, you know what I'm saying? Always want to mess with somebody rowdy, always want to, you know, rough somebody up. That's that that's that's Esau Edom, man. Okay? Raging. Alright. So see, so that's that this is that golden city, man. That boisterous, loud, noisy, uh, prideful, raging uh city, man. It's it's being ceased. Okay? Uh let's go down. Uh because I had made a point, it says Yahweh Bashim and Shai had broken the staff of the wicked and the, scept and the scepter of the rulers. All right. And when you go, you look at Malachi 1 and 4, and then it lets you know who the wicked is. Okay. Verse 6 is the point. It says, He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hinders. You see, Esau ruled the nations in anger. That's what happens when you're, when you're a bully, man. Okay, when you're when when you're stronger than everybody, man, you can do whatever you want to. 
All right, so Esau, when he when he had that that when his power of the sword was uh, when he was using it in his in his in the height of his establishment, he was taking over. I mean, he was he was making everybody do what they wanted to do. I mean, he was making everybody do what he wanted them to do. Okay, why? Because he ruled the nation in anger. All right, and then he figured out that you know what I'm saying, hey, this is about this is about this dolly. Y'all gonna. Y'all gonna uh, make this Federal Reserve no, you know what I'm saying, a part of your currency in order for you to buy oil. Alright, and then that's when you like they formed the 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 uh NATO and the EU. Okay. And and and, and here we are right now, man, in, in the midst of the prophecies, in the midst of the uh, of the well favored harlot, on the tail end of the of the well favored harlot, man. Alright, we're on the tail end of this bad boy, man. We that's why we gotta we gotta have patience. And and pray for the downfall of the well favored harlot, man. All right. So most high willing, that's most edifying to the elect. You know, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakodash, Level Young. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. I'm gonna say Kwame Shirala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.